let's look at this project from the project management window you can see our project here different types of projects are available here in this project you again have a variety of information to fill starting with overview project's purpose the scope of the project All these informations are generally available in the tender and most of the times you are supposed to uh, copy this information and copy here. This information will be used in future for analysis purpose, the success criteria, uh, for demonstration purpose, I am putting some dummy data, change management will be taken care separately, risk management constraints can also be defined separately. If I go to the Gantt view, I will be covering this shortly. First, we will define the project configuration, where we will define the location of stock for this particular project, work order or contract number, which is available at this point of time, date of award of contract, the total contract value, the project duration has been copied, actual completion date will come later we'll define the project team we will define the timelines when they are required so June 1 to June 30th. You can also define the name of the site. Their actual designations can vary from project to project, so you can define that. Next is BOQSUR. You are already aware that BOQSUR has been copied. Here we can define the milestones of the projects. So milestone, let's say call A on 15% completion. You can define the Can select the jobs from here. What all jobs would be required? I have taken some dummy examples. These job templates can be completely modified. Now, for other companies, these jobs might be different, but these are predefined job templates. I'm going to remove two of them here. Going to choose another one. I'm going to choose.
the project end date has to be defined perfectly. It is clear that the end date is very near. Thirteen August two thousand and twenty one. Click on save. The system should calculate the value. Yes, it has. So this is the sixth month. So I can put year four. I can put year five. And you can put your six. Okay. This will be suitable here in this example. After this, I can click on uh, create jobs, which will generate the jobs for these particular tasks. So basically, I'm creating activities for predefined templates. If these templates are not available or not required in your case, you can simply ignore them. I have mobilization plan, demobilization plan, and documents, which I will be discussing shortly. After a project definition has been done, the next step would be to go ahead and do the project mobilization. So I can go ahead and choose the project. Again, the mobilization talks about responsibility, deadlines, and assignation. You can see a detailed list based on the inputs from construction companies for which we have worked. But of course, you can create your own. If I try to save it, I can submit this for approval. After approval, this can be processed. Once it is finished, you can mark it as done. After activities have been complete, uh, created, they will be appearing in newly listed jobs. So for your golden quarter letter, you can see that for all these milestones, I have activities which have been generated. At this point of time, I'm supposed to assign BOQ SOR here. I'm supposed to assign stock location. I'm supposed to provide how much unit of work I am supposed to do. And I can assign to a respective user within the team. The same task has to be done for the other work as well. Now these jobs can be seen in the new stage. But once it is ready, you can click on validate to mark it as ongoing. That means basically it has been assigned. So these are no more the new listed jobs. And if you look here, it will go away from here. Now these jobs would now further go ahead and be managed by the project management team who can see these jobs in the jobs menu so i have projects i have different job orders let's have a look you can see golden quarter letter which is available here
I have subcontractor window, material window, and so on. If I look at the job orders here for golden quadrilateral, I can see ongoing jobs. So let's first have a look at framing. So my first step would be to create a job sheet which I don't see here. So to do that, I'll click on, it is asking me for an ending date, which has not been defined. So let's define the start date and end date. I'm going to create a job cost sheet here. So material job, I'll choose the products, put the plan quantity, cost per unit, sale price per unit, Similarly, we can define for labor as well. And same with low overhead as well. which is again to be submitted and be approved. I come back to my original task where the job cost sheet is now available. I can define job instructions for this job. I can see the details. Job instruction one, job instruction two, and so on. This quality checklist can also be defined all this is available in the configuration window to define for the job type, inspection, instructions, quality checklist, and so on. Next step is to do material planning. So I can define what kind of material I would be needing for the whole project. Click on save. Material requisitions defined can be available here. And so on. Now to do material requisition, I will be going to material section and create a material requisition. Most important, I have to choose the RISE project. I have to choose the right job order.
I can define whether I need an internal picking or a purchase order. I can choose the product. I can choose the job cost sheet. Now job cost sheet is available based on the construction project that I have chosen. I'll choose the job cost line. I'll choose the quantity. I'll choose my vendors. The system can bring the receipts, but still you can enter these details. I click on confirm. You go through usual approval of HOD, then finance. After details have been generated, we'll create picking in the PO. If I see the PO, the PO is now being generated. Let me process the PO. Since the unit price has not been added, so I will add this. This purchase order shipment can be received. And for this PO, we can also book the bill. Based on the actual values. The analytic account is already chosen. You have a approval process at the vendor end. Once validated, the bill can be booked in the system. If I go to my original BOQ, will show me the details I can mark it as received the picking details are also available here and so on if I go back to my job orders It will show my material requisition as you can see here. The consumed materials can now be added as per the actual consumption. So I can put my actual consumption here. The details of work execution can also be entered here. Additional information regarding scheduling is available here. You can see that the work progress and schedule progress have changed. 
the schedule progress is zero because it, the starting date was first of June. The details of material acquisition is available here. The details of job cost is available here. For materials, labor. Uh, at this point of time, if I want to create an invoice, so I can enter the value. can click create on invoice I want to include material lines maybe as soon as I click the system will auto generate the invoice you can see that the material request invoice lines have been created at this point of time I can add the taxes Submit it for approval and validate the same. So in this case, in this way, the invoicing for any jobs would now be generated for all the projects. Needless to say, we can register payment from here. We have multiple banks available. I click on validate and my invoice is validated. Please note that these accounting requirements can vary from country to country. This is an example of Saudi real accounting, uh, Saudi accounting, uh, but we can have uh, different types of accounting packages set up based on your requirements. So accounting is not a limitation as far as the demonstration is concerned. Like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel videos and you will be getting a lot. And yes, don't forget to comment upon these videos because if you comment on these videos, this will really going to give us the motivation to upload more and more videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.